<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Thrill Barrel Podcast. I had to stop conversation with Reese to record this because I knew it would be perfect. Yeah, today we don't have Liam. Liam missed like four days of school and has to make all that shit up by tomorrow. So, yeah, hence so. why it's me and Reese. This is going to be a shorter episode. It's chill. It's laid back. I still got topics. It's still fun. But go ahead, Reese. Oh, we were talking about podcasts now that like oh yeah more people know about it because i've been posting more about it or like i I guess we've just been posting more about it just like talking about it in general it's just like everything that is like um that we've kind of been doing we kind of like spread through our own word of mouth but i mean well i was just telling you about how like not even just today but kind of in general like the past few days and weeks even um I've had, like, a couple of people, like, talk to me about it. It's really cool when people just have, like, genuine questions. I'm like, oh, yeah, like, we do this and then this. And they're like, oh, that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad, like, you guys enjoy it. Um, But what I was kind of getting at was that I was like, it's so cool, like, seeing us now. Like, it's not, I'm not saying we're, like, big, but, like, just production-wise and, like, from, like, the setups to how we talk, like, like you can go. We can go look at the first video. I think we did it like in your room. We're doing in, like, it the in the room that I'm in. House. Yeah, <laughs> and like almost a year ago now, it and was... it's just like so pixelated. <laughs> it's like two pixels, and I don't even remember <laughs> what we're talking count about. Count the pixels, man. It was like the first time we did it, and we were like, "Oh, what are we talking about?" It was like, but it's just. Cool. <laughs> it was up. on it was on a tripod that I don't I have no idea how the hell I got that tripod and it was just sitting in the corner of my room with my phone. No, no, it wasn't even my phone. It was some 1080p camera that my dad had and he was just like, "Okay, you can have it." And I used it and that was the video we recorded our like we recorded our first like seven or eight videos with that thing until until I had the brilliant idea of Discord. Why the hell don't we just do Discord? Like, it's just, it's easier for us to do it at home. We don't need to, like, meet up all the time uh, 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 after school and get your mom to pick, like, get your mom to pick you up. I gotta take you home. And it's just, like, it's just easier and more convenient. But yeah, I was just chilling in the corner, and it was just this wide-ass angle of my room. <laughs> was, we used that for so, like, so long. I think we even used it for... Ugh. I think we even used it for Until Dawn, like like when we did that too. I remember that, dude. <laughs> I we, remember we put. <laughs> we need to play more games. Oh, oh, and uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Before before we get on this side tangent, I do want to mention this morning when I got to school, uh, our friend. I'm not I'm not gonna say her name. I don't know how she feels about us talking about her, but um, she was talking to us about, or she was talking to me and uh, this other person that I had in the car. Cause I don't think you got to school yet. And, and she was like, you know, it's almost like, it feels weird watching your videos because I forget that it's a video and I'm not with you guys <laughs> because, because she's like, she's like, it sounds like stuff you would actually talk about. Like it actually sounds like a conversation that I'm listening to. And I'm yeah. like, she, she felt like the need to respond sometimes because of how, of how close we talk, I guess in person i don't know yeah it's just i mean i think you brought that up with me earlier too and i remember i was telling you i was like not even just people that we know well um for like the amount of people that we don't actually know or like not even just don't know just like don't normally talk to you on a daily basis Mm -hmm. like don't really know like general conversations outside of the youtube channel um I, i feel like the way that we present ourselves like to the audience just like as a whole yeah it's like we try to make it feel like we're just genuinely talking to you well it's like i know at least for me um like sometimes if i'm watching really just like any kind of media put out from other people like sometimes it feels like it's just them talking i'm just listening but like i mean when i know what we talk we try to like we talk about things that are going to be relevant to people like when people listen, I want them to be able to, like, walk away knowing something that they didn't know or, like, learning or even just, like, laughing after is, like, 
it's just kind of cool that we could like also like you saying that like getting the feedback is always really cool so, like i know like you like that too it's just like so genuine when people like i mean like what do you what were you gonna say it kind of... feels rewarding <laughs> it feels like we're actually it like because i'm gonna be i'm gonna be very real it fe like i've I, I don't think I've ever done something that has felt this rewarding in my life before. And I'm going to be, and like, I mean that in all seriousness, because I've never done something to where like, I actually entertain people. I've been wanting to entertain people since fourth grade. I've always wanted to like write scripts, write movies, do videos, whatever. I just wanted to entertain people, make people laugh, educate people and everything. And it's, it, it it's still weird to me that like, people come up to me and openly talk about the podcast with me and it's like like literally two days ago i had my friends she was like like she almost every time she sees she sees me how's the podcast doing what's going on are there any updates like she wants to know and sometimes like i don't know if this is me just being paranoid i almost can't tell if it's like genuine or sarcasm and i don't know if that's just me being paranoid but like but, like, I, I'm not saying it as, like, a dig or anything. I still, like, enjoy talking about it, obviously, because I love doing this. Yeah. It's fun to me. But it's, like, every now and then I'm, like, are you really, like, interested? Because I'm just, like, there's no way people are really interested. <laughs> like, in the back of my mind, I'm, like, how 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 can people stand to listen to me talk for, like, an hour? I get what you mean, though. I don't know. It just throws me off. We just, I guess we just, like, we have to get used to it. But I get what you mean when... Like, how you're trying not to come off as, like, I guess, what was the word you used? Like, boasting? Or, but just, like, what? I can't think of the word right what? now. I was so confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> you were, because you were talking about, um, how, like, when people brought it up, it, oh, rewarding. Yeah, it not, yeah, it feels reward, rewarding. I was, I meant rewarding. No, I can't think of the word, but, we, <laughs> like, rewarding, though, but, it, it doesn't feel like we're doing it for the reward either. It just feels like we're just, like, talking to people, and then, like, that's what feels rewarding. But it's not like we're doing it, like, selfishly. Yeah. It just... Yeah, no. Because how do fun. we... I think we're, like, sitting in class. Like, I don't remember. Like, again, probably over, like, a year ago, like, were the plans for this? And then... I, I just remember, I was like, this would be so cool. You were like, we gotta do it. And then we just, like, jumped into it, like, even though it was really bad. And now it's, like, cool knowing that, like, it's just, like, embracing the journey of, like, going through this. Like, even though it sounds really cliche, like, I know. But just, no, it's no, always no, cool. It totally feels, yeah, no. It to yeah. It's totally satisfying to watch the, like the progress it's like it's like i'm watching a time lapse satisfying video like here's what i want i want if like we get to like our 100th episode or something like that and like we're gonna jump production like our production quality is gonna be so clean in the next like couple episodes actually well probably like the next five or so we're gonna jump production really soon, so much like we're gonna like we're gonna be skipping like 10 years to the future our like my video quality is gonna be better. Our my our mic quality, audio, literally everything is just gonna be better in the next like five episodes, which I'm very excited about. But I really want there to be like, if like like if this does successful, I want someone to go in to every single video for like the 100th video, and then take the first couple seconds from each video and just put it in like a compilation, so you could just see the quality just keep going, like just keep getting better, better and better, and then like the more videos that like we make that aren't podcasts because we don't want to just do podcast videos the more that we do it just becomes like like the production goes higher and like the quality goes higher but then just the sanity just keeps sinking and it just keeps declining <laughs> into like because i want to say one of the deleted videos i literally start off going like hello welcome back to the through bell podcast where pee poo 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 equals poo poo papa or just something Remember that. so crazy shit like that and like Man, I want to I want to get back to making all the the weird introductions. I just want to like I just want to keep going. I, like I had a list, I had a list of them that I forgot. I don't know where it is, 
but I want to get back into doing that just to fuck with you and Liam. So every now and then I just say something so out of pocket that you two are like, what the f Like, what was that? What? Why? Why? Like, why did those words come out of your mouth? <laughs> Dude, I, re I remember you said, didn't we used to do cold reads? Where, like, we did it like one person? time. We did it like one time. And I gave you, I wrote, Let's I wrote something time. and I gave it to you. And I was like, do a cold read. And you're like, okay. And then you like, couldn't make like you couldn't finish it because it was just so odd to you like it was just so out of pocket i just kept laughing that was that's that like was, the best part that was back when we did in-person videos i remember that though that wasn't that long ago we set up we set up the desk right here and then we had the camera and monitors chilling on my bed but um that was yeah i mean like we I we skipped picture. Yeah, we have, we have, that's what I love. I love that we documented it too. Like, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna make an Instagram for Through the Barrel soon. And that's where we'll just post the jank ass pictures of like, the, like, like I had my microphone duct taped to the frame of my bed at, I, it was either, yes, it was the microphone. It was with Chris. I had the, the mic duct taped to the frame of my bed. And then we had, um, the, like, the stand for my phone for when we were doing, I think, Until Dawn or, like, Mario Kart. It was also duct taped to the stand on my bed or something like that. Dude, just the fucking the quality, man. It was so Dude, bad. What I remember is when um, we first tried to do, like, a video reaction with the face cam. And <laughs> we, we, it took us so long to get the headphones situated. And I remember I just had this picture of i think it was on like a laptop i think and it it's like the jack and it's like taped at an angle because you had to hold it at an angle for it to work <laughs> and so there's just this clear tape but it's holding it's, together it's, like this it's wire not that. It's running. It's, it, there was also a I rubber band <laughs> yeah there's a rubber band going around the laptop <laughs> Oh my dude, we were reacting to um the corridors uh Spider Man Everyone's Home video. I remember that. I, I love like I will say it's it's funny to me how whenever we have technical difficulties, I'm the one that just goes, I gotta I gotta fix it. Like I remember we were doing Until Dawn and you and I stayed up all night to record was it like we stayed up all night two times and we got all the videos done in those two times and in between those two times we upgraded the video quality immediately and in like one morning i want to say we went from like 11 to 4 11 to 4 in the morning just recording videos and then at one point the microphone or not the microphone one of the headsets stopped connecting to my laptop because PlayStation sucks when it comes to audio. Like I gotta, I gotta play it in such a weird way. I don't remember how to do it. Like if we do it, like, oh, like yeah. we'll probably do the quarry or something like that. If we do that with Liam, which I would love to do it, or even if it's like, if it's just us, I'll still like be down to do it. But if we do that, I'm going to have to watch like videos again to figure out how the fuck I did it before. Because I honestly don't remember. I think what I did was I got, a USB Bluetooth connection to my laptop, and then I used the headset, the Xbox headset, to Bluetooth at the same time, and then I had to, like, use OBS as the audio output to the PlayStation because PlayStation doesn't pick up, um, or, like, it doesn't transmit audio into the capture card like Xbox. That's why I like, I liked doing Cuphead just because it was the audio would go into the capture card and into the OBS instead of using OBS as the output because PlayStation sucks at predicting what people want to do. <laughs> it sucks. Audio. Oh, man. Dude, like, I have... Like, I get nightmares. I get nightmares uh, uh, every now and then because I'm like, it's not working. We gotta record a video. It's not working. The audio isn't working. I just get... I, I, I get PTSD of that every now and then. And, it, it, like, it would take me, like, an hour to fix it, too, until we would record, like, three more episodes of Until Dawn and then just be done with the whole series. Oh, dude. I remember you... I like it. I was like, well, I can, like, help you. And you're like, oh. You no, know, I literally... I remember I, I like... Dude, I think it was two in the morning or something, and we like just finished one of the episodes. And I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, right?" I go to the bathroom and I come back. I open the door, 
This guy isn't even, he's not even in the seat anymore. He's like this. He's like. <laughs> Please, it's not working. And I'm like, Will, do you need help? And you're like, just, just let me get it. I, I'm right there. Please, it's right there, dude. I, I swear if we don't get it. Solid hour. You do not get up. And I'm like, dude, we're going to hit daylight at this point. I think we stay up to like 6.30 in the morning. You're like. I swear we are recording this video. I I spent two hours getting this headphone situation fixed, and we are recording this video. Oh my gosh, we are I, so I was tired. so determined. I was so that's see that's what that's what like every now and then I look back at like some of the stuff I do, and I'm like I smile at it because that proves to myself I will not stop until we make a video. Like I am so dedicated to do it because i'm just like i'm like i want i want to make a video so badly i want to make a video and then like headphones headphones stop working my brain comes out of video mode and goes into i gotta fix this shit and and like it like the the male testosterone kicks in and i'm like i can fix anything just give me just give me like two minutes in youtube i can fix anything the pure testosterone starts like pit starts picking up and i'm like i could do it i could do it i could do it guys i could do it <laughs> oh man oh i love it though I, I i just can't wait till we're at episode 100 and we're looking back and like we need to do a reaction video to our first ever video that's what we need to do <laughs> we need to do a reaction video to our first video <laughs> the quality joke <laughs> We're we're actually gonna have separate like wireless microphones. We're gonna have like a decent setup wherever we go, and like good camera quality too. And and it's just gonna be we're gonna be like yeah yeah we haven't we haven't looked at this in like a year. Let's uh let's see what we were talking about. And it like our conversations haven't changed. <laughs> like, we, dude, didn't we used to use like a seven twenty camera or something? Or it was it was ten eighty p. I but mean, it was my... so far away. <laughs> we looked like pixels. <laughs> oh, the shorts, like the shorts on TikTok we and YouTube like... for Until Dawn while we used that camera. We literally, like, whenever we would open our mouths, it would just be a single pixel. Like a singular pixel. We were like this far. You're like, you know, hey guys, welcome, welcome to the channel. No, we weren't that. We were at least like a good five feet. Okay. Not like. Seven like this, eight. but it was like, like the quality was, it was, <laughs> it was something else. Yeah, it's just funny though. So, for uh, people who want to learn something, I got drama. <laughs> I got stuff. I got two I things. Always find drama because because uh, I unlike you, I uh, I embrace youtube life so i have to keep up with all the drama i gotta know what's going on i gotta i gotta do everything i i watch moist critical cinnamon toast ken uh, uh pewdiepie sometimes when he does pew news like all that stuff but uh i do have so i got two things one of them is the jack septicai mr beast problem which this happened i want to say like a couple days ago do you know anything about this Ooh. you mentioned it but like I didn't go into depth. You didn't, we didn't really go into it, though. I think Liam was here, too. It was, like, a mm -hmm. few days ago. It, it, was, it was the last video. The lines of Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was, it was a few days ago. Um, I mean, you didn't really explain it. I mean, I, I remember you just said something about, like, I think Jack, like, called out Mr. Beast on some inconsistency or something like that, and then, like, Mr. Beast, like, said something back, and then... Yeah, I, I was. Really... I'm disappointed <laughs> because I hate it. I'm just gonna say say this straight up. I hate it when big time influencers give uh one check. Except guy has done this a few times, and I mean like people are entitled to their own opinion. But it's like I don't like it when big influencers kind of comment on political, social status sometimes just because I'm like, dude, I don't like, I don't want. Or I feel like as a big as like a big name celebrity, sometimes they they have either the pressure to, or like they feel obligated to inform and like try to persuade in the right direction. But then I also feel like if you want to keep your audience as neutral as possible, 
don't say anything. You will, like, it's either a 50-50 chance that you will lose half of your subscribers or you will even gain subscribers. If you don't, like, comment on anything, give your personal opinion, all that. But Jack said the guy's done that a few times. But, I mean, like, I still love the man. He does thank miss every year, which I wish we can join at some point. But, um, but yeah, he, um, he was doing a lie detector test with, I, I forget who, and he ended up, uh, calling out Mr. Beast for saying that, uh, like he took the fun out of YouTube. Like, like he ruined the game for YouTube in the sense of like, he made the bar higher, which he definitely did. He definitely made the bar higher with what he's doing. But Jack Step guy is also like, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. He was like, yeah, so YouTube is a place for fun. You do it for fun. And he's like, if Mr. Beast, like if he, if Jimmy was really doing it for fun, then the videos would be longer instead of like 10 minutes for like the crazy shit that he does, which I will say it, I would like to watch more of his content. If like, if they did extended videos on another channel, like if that was a thing, I'd watch it. I, yeah, I get what you mean. I would. But, um, yeah, he does, like, 10-minute videos or whatever. And Sean, Jack Step Guy, he was just kind of, like, dogging on him for it. And he was like, yeah, he kind of raised the bar too high for some people. People don't have that much money to do crazy shit like that. And it's like, I, like, I understand. But then um, Mr. Beast rebuttaled on Twitter. And he was like, he, he practically, it was like this big-ass paragraph. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry for not having fun while inspiring millions of people to better the world. <laughs> like he was like i'm sorry he's like i'm gonna continue do doing what i'm doing because it's because it's right and it's like i know everybody has their mixed reviews on mr beast because some people are like why do we have to wait for a straight white man to um to fix the economy or fix the world when it should be the government and it's like like people just can't look past the fact that we got someone who's nice enough to do it in the first place and it's like the it's like no matter what like, like just for some people no matter what they see it's it's always going to be negative and that's what i hate when people trash on mr beast because the amount of good that this man has put out into the world compared to like the amount of people that like don't do anything like that is insane like he's he's arguably one of the best people on the planet in my opinion like just just for like all the sh like crazy stuff that he's done and all the charity stuff same with like moist critical because he like 50% of all of his YouTube, like, money goes to charity. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why, like, he's not scared to do anything or say anything. Like, like... Yeah, I always listen to him. Yeah, he's not scared of anything, really. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of sad when I see YouTubers kind of, like, go at it and dig at each other when they... They're, like, their common goal is to, like, entertain. Really. Entertain, do some good, especially for, like... Jack and Mr. Beast, they both do a shit ton of yeah. shit. Like hmm. Thankness, does Mr. Beast do Thankness? I don't I think. Like... I don't think he joins on it, but I know Thankness raised. Right now, their total number is like seventeen million dollars. For what they've hey. been doing for the past couple of years, Jack Black's been on it. Um, I hope Ryan Reynolds gets put on it on this upcoming Thankness for twenty twenty three. I hope he does. Sean and Sean and Ryan Reynolds are like this. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. Jack Septic guys interviewed Ryan Reynolds a, a couple times, and like, they're like, you know that? what? I didn't know that. Yeah, he interviewed him for Deadpool, a uh, Free Guy. Uh, like Ryan Reynolds is the reason Jack Septic guy got put into Free Guy. <laughs> He's the reason why Sean's in Free Guy, and then um, he also interviewed him for Detective Pikachu when Ryan Reynolds did that. And Sean has a video of him at a party where you hear in the background, hey, Sean, Sean. And then he looks up and Ryan Reynolds is like, yo, come up here. And then Sean in the video was like, holy shit, Ryan Reynolds is asking me to hang out. <laughs> he was like, what? Oh, man. That's cool. It's just like genuine relationships. Just because like a lot of times people really, like a lot of times people put the titles apart mm -hmm. like actor and you know like youtuber or media producer or whatever but it's just cool like seeing genuine human interactions mm -hmm. it's so grounding when you realize that everyone's just kind of like like 
I'm like so cliche today. I don't know why, but I guess just like. The best way I could say is just like humans. At the end of the day, it's just like everyone's the same, pretty much. Yeah. So like, it's just cool when you like remove the titles, and it's just like you get to just see some people being genuine. Yeah. That's like the that's like um, like Dwayne and uh Kevin Hart. Yep. Yeah. Like, it's like stuff like that. It's just really cool to see because it's just I don't know. It's just like being genuine. It's it's always cool to see that it makes it more interesting. Like, I think I've said this before. It's like, you tend to like, like, let's say in YouTube for, for say you watch the people who you, who you can tell, like you can tell when someone's being genuine in a video, when they're actually having fun, Like you can tell that. So it's sometimes it's like, I like watching someone just because I know they're having fun doing it. And it's just, I like seeing, I like seeing the actual passion. I like seeing people actually doing what they like instead of someone being like, Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, Uncharted. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Like, like Deadface, or if they're, or if they're doing the whole, what's up, everybody? We're back with it. I oh fucking hate those. I hate, I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I get it; it grabs people's attentions, but it's the fakest thing I've ever seen in my life. At in uh, graduation pictures. <laughs> I think graduation pictures, fakest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's literally. What I oh my gosh, it's just like, don't fake reactions. Just like enjoy being there in the moment and like watching the thing yeah. or doing the thing. Like, I feel like because it's it's like catchy and it's loud and stuff. It's like in your face as soon as you like open it yeah but it's not like something that you're like oh i really want to like go out of my way to get yelled at right now <laughs> it's just like just i didn't sign up for this know. maybe it's just me no 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 i feel that too what sucks is yeah, I, well. I hate that i always bring it back to jacksepticeye but like that's how his like videos were for five years when he started it he start. i think he started I his channel in like, like 2013 that. Well, no, Markiplier's was cool. He's always had a good intro. He's always said, hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> He's always had that kind of chill, like, thing. And then Jacksepticeye does the whole edit, like, the whole edited. Pachi! Hello, everybody! Uh, no, no, wait, no, wait. What does he do? He's like, he's like, top of the morning to you. My name is Jacksepticeye. <laughs> he's always, like, having the Did voice crack. Like, top of the morning. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like, he's like, Pachi! <laughs> top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we always did it how we always did it for like five years Ju juxtaposition i got even more tea to tell you more it's this this is like pretty sad shit though like this is this is some fucked up shit um have you heard of eight passenger does that ring a bell no oh wow <laughs> okay so all right what is eight okay what? okay okay what about wait wait, wait what about the name ruby frank now Wait, what about the, what about the name Ruby Frank? Do you recognize that? No. Okay, 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 okay. I got some shit for that. I got some, I got some stuff for you. Okay, Eight Passenger. So I want to say that they were a YouTube family channel for five years, five or six years. Oh, it's one of the family channels. Dude, I know it. Like, whatever. Like, we, oh my. We, we, okay, we, we, we can what? share our opinions. <laughs> yeah, we you we can share our opinions I'm after. So. She was one of those fa family channels, and the like, the manager or the person that ran the channel, her name was Ruby Frank. Okay, it's called Eight Passenger because it's her, her husband, and then her uh, five children. Nope, six children. <laughs> I was doing some quick math there, but um, it's her, her husband and her six children, and one of them moved out two years into the. I want to say yeah, like two years into the channel, as as soon as she turned eighteen, moved out. Okay. And then, like, her oldest son was there. This lady has been arrested for child abuse and and, and uh, neglect. And her partner as well. So, Ruby Frank, you, like, YouTube family mom. Uh, her partner was another YouTube family mom person, too. Then, Ruby Frank, then she also has three sisters. Each one of them have, have family channels. <laughs> Each one of them. All of them have family channels, I'm pretty sure. And... There and the sisters are cool. From what I know, the sisters are are chill. But 
people have some flack on them right now. But basically, Ruby Frank, over the years, people have spotted weird stuff going on in their videos. But, like, like people have always said stuff, and they've been trying to get, like, CPS on them for years, but they didn't really do anything. So, like, weird instances would be, uh, R like, Ruby Frank, she got a call from her daughter's uh, school, okay? Um, the school's like, hey, your daughter didn't bring a lunch. Could you please come here and bring a lunch? And then the, and then Ruby goes, like, like on video too. Like, this is like a part of one of her videos. She's like, it was like she wasn't responsible enough to pack her own lunch. She won't eat. Now, let me tell you how old this daughter is, okay? Kindergarten. The girl's in kindergarten. And Ruby's like, she wasn't responsible enough to make her own lunch. She's not going to eat. And then there was another time to where, like, the the kid in kindergarten or not even preschool uh the kid didn't get up like just for school like by herself in preschool and then Ru and then ruby's like you didn't go to school today because you didn't wake up and then the daughter's like no you're like like the oldest one before she moved out no you're taking her to school like how does this work like that's not what you do <laughs> um there was another instance where the the oldest son he did a prank on one of the younger sons i think and he came into his room at like th this is some funny shit. He came into his room at like three a.m. Woke him up and went, "Hey, hey, hey! You gotta pack your bag. We're going to Disney. You gotta, you gotta pack your bag. You're going to Disney." And and the and the kid was like, "Whoa!" And then went and packed his bag at three a.m. And then the and then the oldest son's like, "Nah, I'm messing with you." That didn't happen. So the mom, for punishment for the oldest son, took his room away from him. I think it was his room or his mattress. I want to say, naturally, no, it was his mattress. Took his entire mattress away from him. Made him sleep on being back for a month. Um, and, yeah, the daughter moved out. Immediately tried to get CPS. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's where shit gets even more fucked up, okay? So, one night, the children were staying at Ruby Frank's partner's house, okay? Like, not like her husband. Like, partner, YouTube partner, because she did, like, a podcast with her as well. Um, okay. the kids were at the partner's house. The youngest son crawled out of the window, showed up to the neighbor's house with duct tape around his wrists and ankles, asking for food and water. <laughs> and what happened, this is, yeah. So finally, after five years, CPS and the police got involved and arrested Ruby Frank. I want to say they arrested the husband as well. And her partner. Maybe her. Yeah, I think her partner too. And, and her partner. And what happened was at the hearing or like at the court case or whatever for it when they were in court, the mom, this is some of the most messed up shit I've ever heard. The mom said that they kept the son away from, like, like they did that to the son because he's been trying to like sexually assault the other kids. Like the, like the siblings and the kids, like his friend, like kids at school. And so this kid's like 12, I think like he's like 12. And so, which I don't think that's what, that's what it was. But because of that, he is no longer able to be foster ho housed with his siblings because of that. Ruby, Ruby went, fuck y'all and threw her son uh, under the bus, essentially ruined the kid's whole career or I guess future essentially for that. But, um, her sisters came out. Yeah. So did he like? Did they like actually? Didn't they? Did they, wouldn't they have to like go to like court for that stuff? They did because that's like his record now. Well, I guess when he turns eighteen, they. Can I'm, do I guess I'm just trying to ask like if he was actually guilty or if she was just like lying to like. It's allegation, so there's no like, there's no proof of this. It's pretty much the mom being like, "Oh, well, we duct taped him because he was sexually assaulting his siblings," and it's like. You just separated that kid from his family by doing that. Yeah. You, that is really bad. That. Also, um, I mean, like, before you go on, I'm, like, I don't know. Like, I'm, I wouldn't, like, excuse it. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. But I'm saying, like, pretty much everything, like, always starts in the household, though. So, like, I feel like she needs to be more involved with, like, her kids. Like, even back to, like, the, like, the food thing. Dude, that was like so that's where like we always get like a lot of issues. Yeah, it's so just like all the stuff that you described, like coming with the kids, is like they just need to be like better parents. 
And it's not like they're, like, old kids either. They're, like... I mean, like... One of them moved out, and the other... And, like, the oldest son is, like, our age. Than... He's, like, our age, I think. I want to say, like, 17. Yeah. Maybe he's already so moved like, out by now. I don't know. But, I mean... I mean, I guess my bottom line was just, like... She was, like, her main role was, like, raising them. And, like, instilling morals and stuff into them. Mm-hmm. And, like, it didn't... Like, I feel like she just, like, ruined these kids' lives. Yep. And, like, now they, like... Their view on the world is super messed up. And it's, like, everything. Yep. Pretty much. And, uh, YouTube took down the channel. As they should have. A long time ago. Um, took down the channel. Took down the partner's channel. Um... All of Ruby Frank's sisters, though, they all have their channels. Uh, they they put out a statement and basically were like, we knew this was happening. We just didn't do anything. Like, what? they were like, they're like, we've known of these activities and we don't condemn any of it. So they're kind of getting some slack from what I from what I know, from what I understand. So that's kind of fucked up. Uh, <laughs> my opinion. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that. Wow, yeah. When I heard about that, that the kid crawled out the window with duct tape around his wrists and ankles, asking the neighbor for food and water. That kid was parched. He was he was neglected of necessities. Parched? Yeah. I think he was probably a little more than parched. <laughs> he's he's got the he he needed the sweet nectar of God. The sweet, the sweet pissed nectar of God from when you wake up at four in the morning. <laughs> it's like SpongeBob crawling to the like the water. It's it's like uh, he was like, <laughs> it's it's when he's in Sandy's house. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Oh, man, seeing children be mistreated, it's yeah. it's just so sad to me because it's like. They don't know better. Like once they like once kids are probably like our age, that's when you start doing harsh shit. That's when you start really. I mean, obviously you got to discipline them when they're young, but it's like sometimes kids just don't know. They just don't know. They don't yeah. know any better. Like the whole like main way that we learn is by failing. Yeah. Learning from our consequences. Mainly, like, as, like, young kids, too. Like, Mm -hmm. walking. Like, the whole reason they learn how to walk is because they, like, had to fall a bunch of times to, like, know what they're doing wrong. Yeah. And then, like, it's, it's, I don't know. Hmm. Because it it just, I guess it just goes to the topic of, like, they're, like, at such a young age where now the question is, like, they did something like inexcusable but like does their knowledge and like the way they were raised make it excusable because it like wasn't really them it was like things that were instilled into them but that's like a huge like debate i guess it's like it's really complicated but you know what i'm kind of getting like kind of talking about like i don't really think we should get into it but it's like my mind immediately thought of nazis and the excuses well they were just following orders my mind immediately went to that example. Is that is that fucked up? Am I am I messed up for thinking I mean, that? I guess I get what you're talking about, but like I'm talking about like kids. <laughs> Whoa. I'm talking about like like them being like like they're like the innocence of a child and like how like even if, it's like if, if a kid like what's an example like if a kid I don't know is like. Uh, put in the driver's seat of a car and then he like drives the car into a building or something and he's like five then it's like not really the kid's fault because like it was the parent putting them there it's yeah. not like they knew better so like you can't really blame that that's what I meant like that probably wasn't a good example but you kind of got what I was talking about kind like of. the whole like okay yeah, the, kind of. the bottom line I haven't seen a child drive a car into a building, but what I was getting at was just like you have to cut kids slack sometimes because they don't know. Yeah. So like, like I'm uh like the eat like lunch, 
What do you mean, like, they can't eat? What do you mean they can't eat, bro? <laughs> she was in kindergarten. What are you doing? What are you going to do? I don't like, know, man. You can't get mad. She wasn't responsible enough to make her to make a damn sandwich in the morning. She, she doesn't, uh, dude. Like, come on. Now. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> she she was in kindergarten, dude. When you're in kindergarten, you have to know how to make a ham sandwich. That's just you. You have to be raised like that. You know, Pat. You know, Pat. Like to pack your own lunch in kindergarten. You know? Yeah, oh, dude, it's fun. <laughs> it's just so easy. It's just so easy. Damn, I'm so happy all that got taken care of already. Oh, yeah. man. That went on for like five years. It went on for like five years, man. It was insane. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. Well, anyway. it's it's getting close to like the 40-minute thing or 40-minute time. Um, in the next couple of episodes... Our quality will jump tremendously. Hope you like it. Yeah. Probably a bit more editing if we're able to get on a tight schedule. Um, do we want to announce clothes? Not give the name, but clothes. Clothes. That's all we're saying. Oh. Yes. Oh, I was prepared to go on this whole. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were just gonna do like a little teaser. No, I mean like I'm little, fine. I'm fine with little, just saying little, clothes. Just a little, just a little taste test. A little, you know, a little, a little dip in the, a little dip of the toes in the water, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore, like, ignore all this uneligible writing on my whiteboard. Ignore, ignore, ignore all yeah, that. Just, ignore, ignore it all. <laughs> ignore it all. <laughs> what? I was just saying you have hieroglyphics. Yeah, you really. The only thing you can make out is like the A. That's it. You can't make any of that out. Oh, I guess yeah. You yeah, can't. yeah. You can't. It's it's too far away, and the resolution is too bad. It's too it's it's too uh, pixely for you to actually read what's on the fucking board. But uh, yeah, clothes. We're 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 not gonna say anything definite, but we're sampling. We're testing. Uh. Yeah. 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 Uh look to better quality in the next like yep. month and a half. Definitely like the next month. Yeah, if I'm able to yeah, make cool. that deposit <laughs> if I'm able to do that That's this cool. weekend and make the purchase. Yeah. Gotta make sure Liam does. Just gotta just gotta make sure he makes that. What'd you say? Anyway. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, well, you, this I thought is you new, were, I guess. They're going to this allude. Like talk, my talk what am I alluding to? I don't know. You said anyway. I thought you were going to do like a segue. Oh, I was going to end the video. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Reese, whose birthday is it? Yo, chat. Whose birthday? Whose birthday is it right now? Who? Yes, no one got burnt. No one's. No one was born today, unfortunately. So. Oh, okay. So let's mark that on our calendars. That. Yeah. Uh, November. Actually, no, November. Right September fourteenth. No one was born on this day. It's no one's birthday. But uh. Yeah. That's not worth it. But anyway. Uh. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in again. I know this one, like, we didn't have Liam for this one, but we we didn't just, like, just start without him. Like, we asked him. <laughs> and he said, he said he couldn't do it. We just, like, just started. Yeah. But uh, I'll probably be here the next one. And yeah. then we have a bunch more other stuff planned, so. But, yeah. And, like, kind of going back to what we were talking about at the beginning, uh, like, if y'all were here from, like, the very first video or, like, kind of just now tuning in, like, we, like, do appreciate y'all being here on the journey, though. Uh, and we do have, like, a lot more stuff coming up, you know, like, upgrade, like, production-wise. Clothing. So. Clothes. Um, just stay tuned. Shit, you can't we read. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you say, Will? Like, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, you already said that. 
All right. uh, like, comment, subscribe if it's your birthday. Uh, a happy birthday. Watch our other videos. Watch us play Until Dawn. We'll play the quarry at some point, I promise. At some point, maybe we'll do Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2 when that comes out. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. It, maybe. We, we, we may know. We may know when it comes out. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Dabble. Dabble in a little bit. You dabble know? the Spider-Man. You know, do a little, a little, <laughs> a little, a little, a little dabbling, a little dabbling. Wasn't that a thumbnail? Me doing like that? You were, you were doing that, and then I'm in the middle, <laughs> and I'm I, like, like I'm just talking, and you're like, mm. <laughs> you're doing that. So, all right, all right, yeah. Let's stay safe, brother. All right, you gotta do the the, the what? What the, the thing? Okay, I'll do it again. Hold on. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your birthday. Ha uh, happy birthday. Reese, what did we say? Bye.